like you struggle to watch yourself on in a movie? You're sort of rubbing your eyes. You're sort of not really comfortable. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know what's happened to me recently. I like I can't even look in the mirror without crying. Really? Why, <laughs> Why would you say? No way. Well, of course you would. But, but no, this honeymoon obviously comes after probably one of the most stunning weddings on film mm. ever. Um, and really, visually stunning. Um, what was it like to see Kristen walking down that aisle? I mean, it's nice. I mean, you suddenly realize that the the role of a man, uh, the role of a groom in a wedding is, is that of a prop. <laughs> kind of, and I was just like watching Kristen have to take all the nerves and have to deal with do all the heavy lifting in the scene, basically. Because nobody sort of knew. I mean, as I understood it, they sort of held her back. So, so all of you yeah. worked together all of these years, really hadn't seen her before. No, really, sure. I, I'd seen her in the wedding dress, but like pretty much everyone in the cast hadn't seen her. So when she's walking down the aisle and everyone turned around to her, it's genuine <laughs> curiosity because there was so much secrecy about it. And, mm. But uh, I don't know why. It's a white dress. <laughs> I know. It was a stunning. It's beautiful. Carolyn Herrera, beautiful. And no, she that's made terrible. It's, it's an incredible dress. Like, she was beautiful, too, Kristen was. Yeah, she looks amazing. Uh, but, um, but that was the easy part, because the hard part, I've been reading all this research about you, was really, it sounds like, because that's because you're kind of a shy fellow, um, a shy, very talented fellow, that you um, sort of struggled with having to have your first scene, you know, uh, be in the love scene, the honeymoon love scene. And I'm wondering, it seems to me that would be the worst part about being an actor, having to sort of do something so intimate with all these cameras and people sort of watching. <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, it's it's not so much the, like, the doing the love scene that's the nerve-wracking part, because I mean, I've done a, a bunch of them before, but like, it's it's the fact that it's in a, in, within the Twilight series, it's so much based on how to be able to do this, Taylor Lawton is in and he has a six pack and so <laughs> I kind of go there. Oh, you're thinking of sort of sexual positions which, which don't involve showing oh, up. Oh, no, yeah. really? Oh, my gosh. Uh, <laughs> but, uh, that is so funny, and they're already screaming just hearing you speak about that out there. Oh, good people here. I know, they can actually hear you out there. Like, television, I was like, what are they screaming? There are millions of people watching. <laughs> I didn't even know that. No, um, and and you're, uh, it was interesting because you know this is the end, the second to the last of the uh, movies of the, of the series, and and you, I'm wondering if you feel as though coming to this now, speaking about this movie, a sense of relief or a sense of trepidation looking ahead. Um, yeah, it's a little of both. I mean, it's kind of, it's. Uh, I feel like I could have played, I could have done anything between these movies. I could have gone and played a, 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 a kind of, I don't know. I'm trying to think of the most ridiculous part I can think of, but everything I think of is insulting to someone. <laughs> 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 like, uh, well, no, I know you've come out and said that you were worried about having sort of the Mark Hamill curse. Who, the, this is the fellow who, of course, played Luke Skywalker in the mm. Star Wars series. But listen, you, you've got two movies going on. You've got one with Uma Thurman, another with Paul Giamatti, and, and, and Juliet Binoche in the work. So, so actually, it sounds as though you're doing remarkably well. Completely. I mean, you just kind of, you know, you have this series where you can, uh, you know, I mean, it's just being in any position where you get, where you get asked in every interview, like, are you afraid of being typecast? It's like, <laughs> eventually, like, for years, I wasn't afraid at all before. Um, but, you know, it eventually kind of seeps into you, you can't, because you, there's another thing, you can't really, you can't sh suddenly shun the audience which, you know, you know you've collected with, by doing all these movies. Um, and so, you know, you suddenly you, you feel like you want to do something different, it's completely different, but that's not the right way to go about it. It's just, mm. a, it's just a strange. Uh, it's a hard, it's a hard industry at the moment, and I think everyone's pretty much afraid. I <laughs> what well, if you are, then we all should be. <laughs> you know, congratulations at 25, so much success, a beautiful girlfriend, a wonderful career, movies in the works. Enjoy it. Enjoy the ride. Don't be afraid. You're doing great. Twilight <laughs> Saga Breaking Dawn Part 1 opens in theaters nationwide next Friday on November 18th. And coming up